Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the module Envision the Goal in the Success Course. Today's topics are Goals, Failure and SMART. Goals are a way to program the brain towards success. They also define what you consider as success. Let us go back to the brain device that creates reality based on our senses and our thoughts, feelings and mental images. However, not everything is realized. Only ideas that have sufficient focus will realize. The brain device fills the glasses just a bit. In order to become reality, the glasses of the device have to be filled completely. This cannot be done in one go, but requires repetition. In some sense, we fill the glasses with thoughts, feelings and mental images. If we want to realize an idea, we have to run it several times through the device. This means we have to have the same thoughts, feelings and mental images over a longer period of time. This is called focus and goals are one way to achieve it. Goals express an intent and give direction. Now, which goals should you choose? This is essentially the question about the meaning of life and only few people have an answer to it. This is a question for a whole lifetime. Fortunately, you do not need a final answer now. What you need now is just an intermediate answer, which helps you to take the next step. Remember that we want to build new success based on previous success. It helps, of course, if you have a general idea of a direction. What kind of lifestyle do you want to have? Please look at the following picture. Even if you know your final destination, it might not be visible from your current position. In any case, you should know the general direction to go, in this case, for example, north. You select an intermediate point, a goal, in your general direction. Once you are there, you decide the next steps. You see that for the goals, it does not help to copy from others, since the goals have to fit you. This course does not give you the answer as to which goals to choose. However, the course will help in evaluating the quality of goals and in offering means to achieve them. It also does not help to retract to general goals, like money. In terms of goals, money is overrated because it does not provide direction. A better approach is to find what you are going to use the money for. In many cases, you do not need money to get the things you want and sometimes money will not even help. Success sounds very good when you manage to reach it, but what do you do with failure? In fact, failure has an important place in the achievement of success, as it helps to improve our goals. Every time you do not achieve a goal, you will most probably still have moved in the right direction. You will have learned more about the terrain and will be able to improve your goals for the next steps. Let us hear Kings of Convenience Sing about failure. Failure is always the best way to learn. Retracing your steps till you know. Have no fear, your wounds will heal. A similar statement comes from Thomas Alva Edison. I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. The possibility of failure should not stop you from starting the journey, because if you do not start, you can never be successful. Moreover, after some training, you will be able to make sure that you have success by defining goals that you are able to achieve. This is part of the SMART criteria that we talk about later. An easy way to avoid failure is to search for goals in which the work towards the goal is rewarding in itself. Then you enjoy the work while approaching your goal and the possible success is coming on top of that. The SMART criteria are a quality measure for goals. The better you fulfill these criteria, the better your chance of reaching the goals. SMART is an abbreviation and consists of five criteria for good goals. 
A goal has to be specific. It means that you exactly know the goal. The best way to achieve this is to visualize the goal. Make a concrete, tangible image of the result of the goal. Imagine, feel and sink yourself into the finished goal. This keeps up a constant focus on the goal and helps you to realize it. Remember that you ought to use a positive formulation. You want to create something. Define what you want to have and not what you do not want to have. A goal has to be measurable. The basic question here is how to detect that you have achieved the goal. This helps you to keep track of your progress, identify the missing parts and find your distance to the goal. It is important to keep the margins flexible. So if your goal is 100, it does not matter if you achieve 99 or 101. A goal has to be attainable for you, making sure that you can achieve it. This is individual. And what is attainable for you might be impossible for someone else or the other way around. This criterion keeps you from setting goals that are too hard or too difficult. You do not yet need to know exactly how it is done. You only need a feeling that you can achieve it. A goal has to be relevant for you. This means your goal is inspiring and meaningful for you. It has to motivate and challenge you, apart from being fun. In some sense, the goal has to touch your heart and drive you forward. This criterion helps you to make sure that the goal is not too easy. A goal has to be time bound. The timing of the goal brings tension that helps realize the goal. The brain says, now I have to work with this. This criterion avoids to postpone the goal. Together, the five SMART criteria ensure that you can reach your goals. You still have to do the work and this is a topic for the next module. The affirmation for this week is, I know what I want. The usual rules for affirmations apply, as you can find in the course information page. And now the golden habit for the next two weeks. Anticipation is a way to create a positive day. By anticipating the positive events of the day, you focus your brain onto them. Consequentially, they are more likely to really occur. Reserve a fixed time of the day, for example, just before falling asleep. After thanking for the last day, anticipate the positive events of the next day. Today's topics have been Goals are a way to program the brain towards success and to define success. Failure can be used for success by learning from mistakes and by adapting the direction. Goals that are defined according to the SMART criteria are more likely to be realized. Tune in on our success channel again next week for the success stories. The next teaching session in two weeks time will explain how to make a mountain out of a molehill. <laughs>